Hi, I would just like to say two words, okay? The first is evolution. The second is revolution. Now, these words are flying around, uh, but I have this habit of asking people questions um, in real life. And I'm very surprised by the often given response when I ask people what they think the meaning of the word evolution is. It seems that most people are under the misguided impression that evolution is synonymous with an improvement. No. Okay, evolution could be thought of as progress, um, but I that depends on the direction you're heading as well. Okay, um, evolution is just a change of direction. Okay, instead of a static state of um, a being, an animal, okay, when evolution takes place, it changes its course, it changes its form. Evolution just means change. Change can be anything. Uh, and then looking at it, it could be seen as good or bad. Change in evolution is when something evolves to fit the system better. Now, if the system okay, is negative and destructive, and the, si the individual is forced to evolve to fit that system better, there is no improvement there. It's just a relative improvement considering the other option, which is not to exist anymore. However, if the system becomes better, okay, uh, this could, in fact, uh, lead to no evolution at all. Uh, people don't need to evolve to a system which fits fairly. Okay, so the system changes to fit the person. Okay, or you could have a system that we're not prepared for, but it could be a better system that we have to evolve into that system and make that system evolve into something for us. Okay, this is a, a co in, uh, evolution, let's say, co evolution. The system evolves, we evolve. Okay, and we have to decide that direction. So that was the first word evolution. Okay. Think about it a little bit deeper than most people are thinking. Um, otherwise, the arguments just get very crazy because people are not understanding each other. They're using the same word but thinking different things often. Uh, one person's view of an improvement is not always somebody else's. Look at the cybernetics boys lost in their own little world. Okay, revolution. Now, revolution. It revolves. Okay. Now, what is your personal idea of revolution? Some people think a revolt, a revolution, okay, will solve problems. What will it do? It will turn things around, okay? It revolves, okay? The general thing is to take the people to the top, put them, okay, or ex destroy them, get rid of them, whatever, but remove them to the top and put some other people there. That's the revolution, okay? But that's not change. It's just going back to uh, another state. So, uh, my personal view on the idea of revolution, okay, or what I would call a valid revolution, would be a much larger cycle, okay, going back in a certain sense, socially speaking, or the interactive part of society, to a beginning, uh, which is the pre-Neolithic uh, society. Now, before everyone jumps in and starts going with sticks and stones and that, we're heading for that anyway. If we get into World War III, we're going to be there, okay? Now, what I'm suggesting when I talk about a revolution is returning to a more egalitarian method of society, which, you know, everybody has their role. Those who do things do it for kudos rather than financial gain. Financial gain is too easy. It's easy to get money, okay? It has no real value. You can steal it. Okay? You can't steal kudos. Uh, respect. You can fool people. You can make them believe that what you do is worthy of respect. Uh, you can dance around the stage with uh, cones on your breast criticizing the Pope and people will give you respect for that. But is it enough? Okay? Uh, and you're getting paid money for it. So then people should really doubt people's motives when it comes to that. Um, so. 
going back to my idea of the revolution which is returning full circle okay to a natural state of humanity but embracing technology not in the cyber sense okay I'm not saying that the technology that exists okay for electronic implants should never be used I mean there are certain cases I'm dubious about the depression circuit which uh, people press a button and won't smoke a joint I mean it's the same bloody thing only thing is you're not getting toxic smoke but a button is so easy to press you become a little animal in a cage laboratory experiment okay depends what you consider as being the greater of the two evils here uh, but if you balance society maybe people will have fewer reasons for being depressed so maybe the solution is remodeling our society uh, so we can embrace technology I mean ear implants which will help people hear uh, you have now visual implants which go to the cerebral cortex connecting okay uh, basically acting as a, as a replacement nervous system okay these can be possible but then when you get into that silly idea of building superhumans that can do this and that and this and that you're building their bodies but not their brains uh, that is an area where we have to be very careful and if we don't have a well-modeled society this would be dangerous so our first real uh, thing on the agenda I believe is to embrace a technological future which can lead us back to a more natural existence as human beings okay in this the onus is on every person okay yes we can criticize people like the Rothschilds I don't talk a lot about the Rothschilds because the problem is they're a big family are they all guilty um, that's one thing I uh, have been doing some research on the Khazars and one thing is true uh, is the fact that not every single member of that group is evil or ever was evil a lot of them were victims of their own uh, slave masters uh, very interesting people but they must be looked at objectively as objectively as you can and then find that particular group family whatever who are responsible for the uh, First World War Second World War etc okay if there are people with the same agenda which probably they are okay it's a family thing okay we must take those and say that they are guilty okay we need facts and proof okay otherwise we will just revolve around the same old human deficiencies as we have since the uh, agricultural revolution okay um, precision is important in some things okay and there's no point in getting confused I did this before and said two words so that's two some people may think of that as V for victory okay or maybe V for vendetta or Winston Churchill's V for victory which was basically that okay but he was considering that his enemy Hitler was behind him was like the devil and he was like fuck off uh, okay twist the words what's the meaning we need really as I've said before in another video to enter an age of meaning um, I thought that might help some people understand my thoughts when I reply to emails or comments um, the precision of words and the meaning of words is very individual when I talk about evolution and revolution okay my idealistic concepts of those words are as above I may use them in the context other people use but it becomes very difficult to communicate there because I'm using one word they're using another and I'm trying to uh, communicate with somebody who has different ideologies to me we all have different ideologies I'm not saying that I'm right uh, 100% but I do feel really okay it may seem a very difficult road to take but at the end of the day it's probably the only natural healthy and safe route we can we should be using our technology to make ourselves more self-sufficient okay not more dependent on the earth's resources and the ideology of uh, hierarchy and slavery um, thank you goodbye